What's up, everybody? We now have Genshin Impact being live with 2.0. It is a magnificent day. I literally was waiting forever. I kept uh, refreshing the game. It looked like it was a little bit delayed. But we've got the new chapters for Shimoya. Oh, Ayaka. You know, I always say I'm not going to get units, and then they like the new content drops, and I just am like, ah. I feel like everybody's probably like that. But I wanted definitely to give her a try. We've also got Ning Wong, Chung Yoon, and Yanfei, which I do not have Yanfei, and I I have Ning Wong and Chung Yoon completely capped. Machine. I I really do not. What up, what keys? No, oh, no, 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 no. I was just looking. I was just looking. <laughs> I'm like outside the store looking through the window right now, you know what I mean? How's it going, Wookiees? That is interesting. I don't have either of those either. And I wanted the Skyward Spine initially because I love energy recharge. I don't know why I'm just like an energy recharge net in this game. It's not even like an OP weapon or anything, and it's not even that I need it. I just I like it, I guess. I just like it. I have 104 summons, though. I, I realistically am not like I'm not following impulses to just buy random shit, so. No, 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 what am I doing? What am I doing? I'm all over the place right now. It's getting crazy. I want to do the test run of Ayaka. That's definitely first and foremost. I have been unsure about her abilities, whether or not she's going to be a main DPS in terms of damage output. Okay, her elemental skill is going to launch surrounding opponents and deal AoE cryo with... Kamisato Art Seno, Senho, she can conceal herself with ice, moving at a high speed in the form of a turret. So I'm assuming that's her sprint. When she appears at the end of the Senho, she applies cryo to surrounding opponents. I do appreciate that for the infusion of Superconduct, but actually, I feel like that'd be really good with, uh, now that I think about it, it'd be, she'd be really good with um, official. Let's go. Whoa! Hell yeah! When she casts her elemental burst, Kamasato Ayaka releases a long-lasting Frost Flake Aseki to no oh second Otaro that deals crowd damage to enemies. Wait a minute, when she casts her burst. Okay, yeah, no, that makes sense. Additional okay during the trial. Yeah, yeah, okay. I, uh, I do. I mean, she actually comes up a lot faster than Mona though. In, I, I mean, at least it seems like it. Oh, I gotta freeze. Okay, that's actually a wider AoE than I thought. Ooh. Does he, you can't even see, do nothing. Oh, you only get to see the one? Oh shit, that's actually doing quite a bit of damage. 8K per hit. 17, damn, girl. Okay, I was wrong. I was deeply wrong. I feel like everybody's gonna want her after this. So we got like a nine second cooldown. 16, eight, wow. Yeah, that, that's a lot of damage. Especially the fact that it's AOE. All right, all right, all right. I might've been wrong. You know what, I'm gonna continue real quick because I think she's, yeah, she's using the ability. I'm curious what the stats are. So she is level 80 in this. She has a 57% crit rate. 161% crit damage. Sometimes you gotta be careful with the damage output because it's only possible with specific uh, setups. Energy recharge. Or energy. Re I mean, it gives you extra recharge, so you gotta be careful. Alright. Miss Splitter's Edge. It's a crit damage sword. Gains a 12% damage bonus for all element. And re What? And receive the might of the Miss... At stack Wait. For all element. So... Does that work when she's not on the field? I'm assuming not. But maybe I'm curious, like if you throw out like Fischl, you throw out Zhongling, you throw out, you know, anybody who has any kind of damage over time when she's on the field, does it improve the elemental damage for those? Because if so, that's pretty uh, boosty. Was that? <clears throat> At stack levels 1, 2, 3, the Miss Blitter's emblem provides an 8, 16, and 28% elemental damage bonus for the character's elemental type. 
character will obtain one stack in each of the following scenarios. Normal attack deals elemental damage, stack lasts five seconds, casting elemental burst, stack lasts 10 seconds. So the only interesting thing with this, wait, energy is less than 100%. Stack disappears when energy is full. Okay, I get it. So interesting. So you want to use your burst, then you're probably going to want to use her normal attack, then you're going to want to use her E ability. And then, I mean, her normal attack, she actually has pretty good use because of like her charged attack. Actually, I don't even think it's just her charge. I think it's, yeah, it's this. That's, that's pretty solid though, dude. But you don't even see it. Boom, she's so quick. She's like, up, 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 up. Yeah, dude. It's solid, it sound, you hear that? You know, the sword and stuff too. The sword in itself is probably the, one of the coolest looking swords that we currently have. This is actually a very good sword. I'm actually really impressed by this because not only does it have crit damage at level 80 being 40% increased, the base attack is already 590 at level 80. So, and I haven't looked at honey impact on any of this stuff, mainly just because it kind of ruins the game for me when I like start planning ahead so much. So, but I have read through this a little bit, but Sometimes they've changed like little minor things right before a launch. So I want to make sure that I get it. I look through it uh, pretty critically before I make any kind of decisions. Now, this is with all level 20 artifacts, though. It's not going to tell me what she's got on her, but it makes sense with her crit rate being what it is that she's got the, the bonus there. But she, dude, she's got a hella high crit rate and her attack is not very high. So I think what they did is they probably did. Damn, dude, what is her shit? What is her? What is her in it bonus stat? Honey impact. I just said I don't like to go to honey impact. Blade embraces its duty as a jeweler cherishes. Just do your research, man. So her passive is crit damage. No, yeah, it's crit damage. Okay. Well, that's you can probably yeah. So basically, they probably built it with crit rate. That makes sense. Then what up, Killer Tiger? This looks great. Kamisato, I'm gonna get her. Yeah, she's looking. Dude, she's doing some pretty good work already. Let me actually look at some of her skills and stuff. Now, she, okay, so these are all at level eight. Dude, the damage output from her burst though was pretty nutty though. 16k on hit and then 8k for the damage over times. So yeah, looking at some of these multipliers, like you're really only utilizing. So this is kind of an interesting one, right? So the fourth and fifth hit uh, you have. This is the kind of the one you want to go with, really. But you basically have a 300% charge attack. though. That's that's actually quite a bit. I think I mean, it seems like it would be. It's really fast, too. So 383% on that, and that, I mean, the AOE was a lot bigger than I anticipated. I don't know why I thought it was smaller than it was, but a 10 second cooldown. I can see her working really well with Chong Yun, getting that 15% cooldown reduction. I think it would work really well on her, especially if you had that sword. Wait a minute, stamina drain? That's interesting. Consumes stamina and cloaks herself in a frozen fog that moves with her. Oh, okay, this is just, that's so interesting. Infusion duration, I don't get that. I always forget that the when they have, like, the special, like, uh, tran like transportational abilities, it actually has its own little uh, combat talent in here. Dude, I wonder. Okay, so let's look at this. Summons forth a flawless poise, unleash, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, we get it! This is the actual skill, so 100. No, this is the burst. Yeah, this is burst. So cutting damage is 108. Yeah, so it makes sense why it went from like 16k down to 80k. Cooldown of 20 seconds. That's actually quite a bit. Her energy needs are actually really high too. So, I mean, that suggests that you want to build her in a double cryo team most of the time. Uh, or just having energy recharge units like obviously Animo would make the most sense with that. But the duration is only 5 seconds, so you're going to have a 15 second uh, downtime. So any way to reduce the two between these is going to be extremely important while having her on the field. I think that that's going to be kind of... She actually has some longer cooldowns and a high energy cost. So that's actually really interesting to know. 
Normal and charge attack deals 30% increased damage for six seconds. Okay. So after using, okay, so after using her skill, so then that means you're going to want to use her burst if you have the sword, and then you're going to want to use the skill, then you're going to want to use her charged attack to maximize DPS output. I think you could probably actually do skill burst and then that, though. When the cryo application at the end of Sunho hits an opponent, Kamasato Ayaka gains the, okay, so she restores stamina, and she gains, hmm, that's... At the end, when at the end of it, so okay, from a timing perspective, is kind of why I'm kind of hesitating here, right? So you have a burst; it lasts five seconds. By the time you get through your attack animation, it's probably been a few seconds. You want to maximize the most out of the cryo, right? So it's kind of like you're going to be using your burst, you're going to be using your skill to knock your opponents, and then it's almost like you're going to have to utilize her transportation to be able to enable cryo again. And then you're going to basically utilize... How long does that last for? Infusion? Five seconds. So you got five seconds. So you, you are able to do that. Now, you can make this a lot easier by having Chong Yun on the field, though, because that will help a ton uh, with his... Like, having his uh, circle down will reduce all her cooldowns, make all of her basic attacks uh, cryo without having to utilize stamina. And so that will be nice. And so this will make it easier, but the timing is going to be really weird. Interesting. P.S. Uh, I think she is a main carry DPS unit. The reason I say that is because all of her abilities support her staying on the field longer. And typically they only do that with characters like Razor, Deluc, um, where they like they, they pump their stats back into them. She doesn't really have any stats that are going to really support her team. So, and, and honestly, even just doing this, like, I'll show you guys, um, can I, can I go back through this? Like, can we get some more enemy? Oh, here we go. So, like, check this out. Like, just using it by itself. Like, 7k per hit, right? For a skill ability, these are, like, level 8, all max out artifacts, really good crit rate and crit damage, not very good attack. But, she's got some pretty crazy, now let's actually see, she actually does have the Blizzard Strayer on, so if you do freeze them... Um, it does, like, that actually right there procked really heavily. So that's really... Oh, that... 2k per hit on a charge attack three times? And it... Bro, and it's AoE. 4k each? Bro. I'm kind of blown away right now. I haven't seen like a sword user pull off DPS damage. Yeah, it's like 5k. That was so fast. That's crazy. I just like for how basic I could try to get with her, she still does some insane damage. That just blow. I'm curious what I can get with. Nothing. Eight. It's still eight. Okay. So I didn't really get 34k. Okay. Still 34,000 on her E ability just to one unit, right? Bro, I can't imagine what she would do with Bennett. 31k. Bro, that's insane. And I don't even know how much I'm utilizing the weapon benefit. Because the weapon is level 80, it's 590 attack. 31k, bro. She's fucking wicked quick. I know. I This is what I'll tell you, though. She could easily be put into a sub DPS support with how like, much damage she's doing. Bro, I kind of want to play around with her and Razor. Oh, man. I said I, wouldn't gonna, I wasn't going to do this, guys. I, didn't, I did not. I just want it to be clear. I have not planned to spend money in this game again on summons. So... If I did pull, it would be on the 50-50 chance with the understanding that I would not probably not get her. Hmm. Guys, I don't know. That's... This game, man, always gets me. I need to take a chill pill. I never do 10 pulls, though. It's just not my jam. Well, hey, we got some luck right off the bat. Give me a Yanfei. Yes! Dude, that's so awesome. Because I did not have her. Wow, that was fantastic, though. 
It is very rare that I've ever gotten uh, lucky in the in the summonings, but I mean, just for like, I'm pretty sure everybody's kind of been that way too. But I've always done single pulls. Mainly because, like, there's a lot of times that I just end up getting, uh... Actually, let's see. How many do we have here? Because I might just do a 10 pull. I know a lot of people. It's almost, yeah, it's almost the following month, too. I don't feel like there's really any difference in the luck that you receive, though. I think I have like six right now. Dang, dude. Get the 10 pity on a four star. Got another Changi boy. Alright, we'll do the 110. Okay, got a weapon. Hey boy, see? You just never get any positives from it. I just feel like it you get the same the same luck regardless, but the I don't know, like when you do a 10 pull, all of your odds are going in at once versus when you do it in single pulls, like every time you have a better, bigger chance of getting more luck handed your way. I don't know. Maybe that's a flawed way of looking at it, but just the way I've kind of I didn't like looked at summoning. So. I mean, this is like what, like 35, I think I put into it. Or I will be of putting into it once I hit 70. Okay, I'm good with sacrificial. Oh, got another one. Another Chongi. Oh, so I think we had 104 when we started, and then I did. So I did four plus 30. So like 38 is where, I, where we're at right now in the game. Still nothing. It's okay, though. The niceties of having uh, new units, right? You have more to build and they're easier to put resources into. But I still haven't really checked out Yamfe all that much. It's kind of crazy. I appreciate that her abilities are like they uh, are spot on to the characters. Oh, actually, there was a few that Wherever I was going to use. World, I roam. We got... Five? Four? Yeah, four of them. I always use these. Well, I've gotten super lucky, though, on single pulls tonight. This is probably the most luck I've seen on it, to be honest. So I think we have Yanfei and then another weapon and four Changyuns. So that was two weapons, Yanfei. So five units, two weapons in like 30 pulls, 35 pulls. Uh, we'll, we'll say 40 pulls now. I'm going to do more. Screw it. I'm going to do a couple more. This is where they get you in the gotcha games. Once you get started, it's hard to stop. It's okay, though. Solid. Another Yanfei, so we got C1 Yanfei.
It definitely does feel good to know that I saved these up, though. Like, saved them up. I was very strategic about it for about two months. I got another Ningguang. Too bad we got her capped already, guys. And single pulls, though. I just feel like the luck has been much better with them for whatever reason. So I think we've done like 60 now. We've done at least... We're getting close to like 70. I think. In a minute. We're gonna have to go back and look. Once we hit 40, it'll be 60. No, it'll be 68, I think. Plus, I think we did four more. It's possible. It's okay, though. I was actually kind of thinking about it, too. Like, we actually have quite a bit of, like, a road to go through for these units. There it is. Ooh, boys! There it is. There it is. Hell yeah. That's sick. Hmm. Fuck yeah. I have played, dude, I am not going to lie. Playing the 50-50 twice back to back. Like the game is, ooh, dude, that would have been an expensive off pull. That would have been expensive. Oh, man, that was nerve wracking. We got her, though. I'm actually really excited to build her. I just kept thinking about it as we were playing. I was like, you know, like. As just playing through on the test rounds, like most of the units look really good on the test rounds, but. I don't know, she's just more my play style in terms of just like the the quick in and out and just I don't know, I think it'd be a lot of fun to build her and I really just dig the character design. I wanted a Yaka from the beginning, but. I'm glad. Yeah, I'm super glad with this. This would be sick. Now I can stop. <laughs> Now we can stop. I think I'm actually just going to hold on to my shop, though, for like what I have, because I have 17. I don't know what the next units are going to be, but now I'm at least set up. I have um, I was worried about actually the Stardust as well. Now I actually have a pretty good amount of Stardust again, so that'll help on the reset coming through. So we'll have five more there. We have the Battle Pass once I finish that. That'll give us another, what, four plus the, so I think it's like eight in total. So we'll have eight from that. And then on top of that, once we start going through this content, we're going to have the dailies. We're going to have, I don't even know what else to look forward to, but we got some good stuff to look forward to. So got our 50 wishes. Let's go. But yeah, I am actually going to stop there. I do not need the weapon. I don't see that being a necessity. What I'll probably end up doing is... And I was kind of thinking about this. So we have... I was actually thinking about using the Primordial Jade Cutter on her. I think it would be very interesting since she's built on crit damage. So I really want to test that out. The fact that she can glide across water, though... This is a spot I did not expect with her. Take flight. Ooh, 
we have we did some of the main quests to get here. We haven't met uh, Ayaka in the game yet. Uh, we have not received our power as a traveler quite yet, but hopefully I will be able to kind of go through that tomorrow and get some of that. But super excited that we got Ayaka. That's super sick. 78 pulls, though. That was rough. So good news is I had them all ready to go uh, because I had been saving. I did not pull on Eula. I think the last person that I had pulled on was Chow, and I was at zero pity, and then I went, no, I was at 65, and I think, but I was at 65 pity, and so I decided to continue forward with Kazuha, got him, and now I, uh, and that was with the 50-50 chance, and then went for Ayaka with 78, so that is awesome. I'm really excited to build her for uh, just quite a few random teams, but I think her and Kazuha are going to work really well together. And actually even Bennett. Like, just trying to keep enemies really, really, really close uh, is going to be money. So I think what I'm probably going to end up looking at is actually even trying to see if a Hydro team would work well. And trying to play either, like, Mona into it, or I've been trying to build Barbara slowly. Uh, just to see, like, I needed a second healer for certain content anyways, because the Abyss has made it pretty reliant on her. Uh, whenever you have to like rid yourself of effects but i don't know maybe we'll try that out as well and just kind of mess around with some comps but i'm super excited that we got her so thank you so much and uh, i'll probably uh sum this video up and and reduce it down to some of the more exciting parts for people coming in after just because this is a pretty long stream but uh i hope you guys appreciate uh me going live on here and we will see you again next time bye